and the fairy tale continues. My wife and I are in Khao Lak in Thailand as our round the world honeymoon continues. We've heard of a mythical Buddhist forest, Himapan, that reveals itself once you find Nirvana. And while we will be hoping to find it on this trip, we realise we may never find the forest, but we don't really care. Himapan is the destination, but we just want to enjoy the journey. Finding Himapan might be like putting your underpants on in the morning. If you're too preoccupied with where you're trying to get to in the end, you can lose sight of the small steps along the way and start making mistakes. And that's when things can turn ugly. So Ange and I are going to stop looking for Himapan. We're just going to enjoy every step of the journey. And if we find it, that'll just be a bonus. The first steps on our journey will be taken by an elephant, as Ange and I sit on his back as he walks us through a Thai jungle. The tranquil beauty of sitting on an animal so huge and makes so little noise turned to splashing fun as we jumped on his back to take him for a ride in the river. There are only eight elephants in Khao Lak to cater for a tourist population in the thousands. So after every walk, they are fed, watered and cuddled before taking the next steps on their journey. The next steps on our journey were straight into the resort pool. We took full advantage of a beautiful day to do absolutely nothing. It's the small steps that are making this honeymoon magical. It's having breakfast together every morning, lunch and dinner on the beach, saying sawadika to the locals and shopping at the markets. When you appreciate the small things, the big ones seem gigantic. So when we upgraded rooms at our resort to one that had a pool out our back door, we felt like the luckiest people alive. Our next steps weren't steps at all. They were glides in a canoe down the little Amazon River. We got up close and personal to some Thai wildlife, which was cool when it was monkeys, but not so cool when it was a snake. As we neared the end of our journey, our next steps were into the kitchen of our favourite restaurant to watch the cook make our masaman curry. After the restaurant manager explained how our meal was being cooked, we walked back to our table to try the final product. After two weeks of long walks on the beach, meals overlooking the ocean, riding elephants through jungles and stepping out our back door into a pool, it was time to head home. We may not have found a mythical forest, but we think we found our own little himapan.